All right, welcome back, Dr. David Prescott from Northern Light Health. Uh, kind enough to join us. Thank you so much for, for coming in on a it's Friday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, it's difficult uh, subject matter, but we turn to you at a time when, with questions of how do we talk about uh, what's going on with what's happened in Georgia. We just ha saw Janet Mills talking about what happened in Lewiston. How do you handle these subject matters with your kids? Yeah, you know, I think from, from an adult's perspective, one of the things is that we can get kind of uh, glossed over a little bit about it maybe but for the kids I think this is often very real mm -hmm. and particularly kids that are prone to anxiety that kind of trend that way we got to remember that this is still something that ca can affect a number of them greatly and so I think one of the big things is just if your kid brings it up don't minimize it ask more questions realize that it's a it's probably a bigger part of their life than it may be of yours anxieties for parents, guardians, and kids, especially as we get back to school, how do you work around those? How do you deal with those? Yeah, yeah. The biggest, the first thing I tell people is that the, if you will, the worst way to deal with anxiety is to try to avoid it, mm -hmm. shut it out, don't think about it, particularly for things like school that are just, you know, they're a part of your life. So the first reaction is to lean into it a little bit. And then if, with your kids, you want to, the next thing you want to do is ask them what are they thinking and what have they heard, right? A lot of times as parents, we're trying to like uh, outguess our kids, right? What do they think and what do they do? Just ask them and then, and then bite your tongue and then just listen for a while. So a huge thing is just when they're ready to talk, you know, pick those places that they're most likely to talk in the car after dinner when they're getting ready, you know, and hanging out or something like that. Just ask them what they've heard and what they're thinking. Don't say too much. No, no, I think that's that's the biggest thing. The second thing I, I encourage parents and, and teachers too about this, people react not only to what we say, but to our like internal emotional state. So, you know, if you've ever sat next to a really wound up anxious person, it's hard for you to calm down. So a real good thing, if you as a parent or a, a teacher or somebody is struggling with this, see if you can do a little work on yourself. So when a kid comes up and has a conversation, you're pretty emotionally centered. If you're calm, that'll just take their whole anxiety level down a notch. And for those that are worried about a sort of a, a pending, looming, bad things happening out there, you know, it's so difficult to, you know, I guess, expect the worst, prepare for, I don't know, how do, how do you deal with just the, the, the fear of the unknown? Yeah, and, and people will try to argue to, you know, that the, the percentage, the like, likelihood of this occurring in any one spot is very low, but it really does happen. When you look at the data, the number of school shootings and mass shootings is, is going up. It just, it just is. So it's out there and it's a fact of that. So I think the other thing is that we know that when people are anxious, being a little over prepared helps. Now you don't want to freak somebody out by, you know, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, all the time. But going through and rehearsing kind of a plan, tell me what you do in your school, what happens when you guys have to do something. Because if your kid gets it in, in their head really well, they get kind of this mastery over it and that makes their anxiety go down. So over rehearse, over prepare a little bit, don't freak out, but, but ask them what's, what they're supposed to do in a situation like that. If people want more information or uh, is there any uh, direction you could steer them if they had some follow-up questions or things that they might not feel like we hit on uh, just in these, sure. these couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah. The uh, Northern Light Acadia Hospital has a lot of good resources. I use the American Psychological Association. They've really worked hard to get stuff that's uh, uh, very quick to read and but get the right points right out there out front. So those websites are really good to try. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. It's always good to see you. Uh, good to see you.